What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode. F- today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, and uh, the, the free episode will be ad-free as well on there. So, uh, And if not, thanks, and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. Like, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> oh. Making Too love. Tone it that's down. That is. In that's between? Not porn sounds, that's making love sounds. So, in, be- in between? Mm-mm. Should I moisten my hands to the sound of skin? I don't want to start the episode with moistness, <laughs> with sex noises. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's what we should do is now just come out the gate with, with porn noises right off yeah. the bat. We haven't done that yet. Well, you just did it, but. <laughs> Now we need some rude ones, you know, like some guck, like some fucking. <laughs> I'm sure Caller Daddy has done that before. <laughs> Damn, bro, starting hot today. Cody is spicy today. <laughs> Damn, uh, it's just. I'm eating. Can you my... Imagine I turn on the newest episode and it's uh-huh. just. <laughs> That's what it should sound like, guys. That's, That's what little... it should sound like. The whole podcast is just porn. <laughs> I don't know yeah. the idea of a fucking 40-year-old man sitting in his office to a pure porn podcast. <laughs> <laughs> An hour and a half of... <clears throat> I've always thought... I've always thought listening to porn is like one of the funniest concepts. <laughs> I mean, imagine, yeah, like older dude like speed walking or something. <laughs> Outside. Big, big ass headphones on. He's just listening to hardcore porn. Bro, dude, did I ever mention how when I worked at that call center, I, th- I don't know, there's like a weird, okay, so you know if you live in a city where you take a train or something and you take a train at a similar time, you, you start to see people you recognize, right? Mm-hmm. It was kind of like that when I worked at that call center just because I lived far away. So I'd see the same people driving. And uh, this dude would kill us in the morning. I'd carpool with my two friends. And <laughs> fucking... He had like a John Madden headset as like the Bluetooth for like his phone. <laughs> and he was like in this like white like Toyota or some shit, but we'd see him in the morning with this huge broadcast headset. And I saw him one morning and I was like bugging out and my friends didn't believe me. I'm like, dude, he had a da and they're like, that's not real. And then, then, <laughs> then when we finally saw him again. And then we just see him in the morning with that fucking big ass headset, just fucking. Meh, 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 meh. So, where do you even? Where do you, would you even buy that? I feel I like that's know. so specific to the NFL and nothing else. And like fighter pilots, like why else would you ever need one of those? Dude, it had a fucking cord. That's what killed me. It wasn't like Bluetooth. Like it was like a fucking fat ass curly cord going down. And he's just like, which you know goes to a quarter inch jack yeah, that he had to have an adapter to plug into his fucking iPhone I could not believe that shit dude oh man I th- haven't we joked about that before gaming with one of those <laughs> oh yeah like on Twitch you just all of a sudden one day you have one of those and you're like got copped a new headset <laughs> shit dude. sound does not let sound bleed at all <clears throat> there's a there's a <laughs> a racing sim streamer Jimmy Broadbent who does that shit and I saw him have that I'm like I kind of want one <laughs> it seems like super cozy like it's just is it a, is it a joke no or like he actually no it's like he, convenient like it's just like I don't know it's a nice imagine, headset dude these hurt hurt my head after two hours <laughs> and these are like designed to be worn forever <laughs> and these will hurt you know you get like ear pains and shit like that when you game for too long a little bit yeah Oh, yeah. I get, like, awful head... Imagine one of those things. Yeah. Dude, that's the part about quarantine that no one is realizing, is that we're both going to come out of this. Our head shape is going to be fucked up because we've been wearing headphones <laughs> for so long. Like, we're going to have yeah. the, the dent up top and the dent in our ears. <laughs> the next meet did and you, greet we do, people are going to be it, like, what the <laughs> fuck happened to your... Did you oh. get surgery? A uh, what? No, um... <laughs> yeah, I got reconstructive gamer surgery. <laughs> yeah, I got. That's, I, I got that's the, gonna be the new <laughs> shit, dude. You know, like you know, Phase and everyone like the game esports is a new. It's the new celebrity, right? Yeah. So whereas like people, you know, 
uh, make themselves, they get surgeries to look like people on reality TV and, and you know, yeah. people in magazines and stuff like that who are all photoshopped. The new thing is kids <clears throat> going to be getting reconstructive surgery to look like, or, or sorry, uh, elective surgeries to look like gamers. To, yeah, look like they game a lot. They're going to get mm -hmm. the head indent on purpose. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Did um, you see that Aiden clip of him? Yeah. Fat ass dent in his head. It seems like it's real, right? Oh, I mean. Like, does that actually happen? Yeah. Yeah. You, That's dude, scary. Sit, sit with a head, set headphones on your head for like seven, eight hours and take that <laughs> shit off and see what the fuck your head looks like. No, but that takes like years, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like I don't his think... bones, his scalp is fucked up. I mean, yeah, probably. His um. brain had to move <laughs> a little bit to, to, <laughs> for that to happen. That's how you get so good at aiming because the depression in your skull, it eliminates other parts of your brain. Yeah. And it forces more nerves to fire exactly. in, the aim, in the aiming lobe. Yeah, in the aiming lobe. Because <laughs> the shower lobe is damaged, so you don't shower anymore, so the aiming lobe is all overdrive. <laughs> oh, my God. A neurologist, like, and this is the uh, frontal cortex here, and this is the uh, cerebral cortex, and then we have the aiming lobe right here. And then <laughs> I'm have, sorry, sir, what would you say? Wait, back it up. <laughs> oh, the aiming lobe. What, what do like you... Oh, well, that's exclusively for aiming when you're playing uh, a, a battle royale type games. Anyway, moving on. Anyways. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn, dude. Um, I just want to give a quick RIP to the 400 Starbucks that are closing as of today. I saw that. And, I saw and, that. And it's look, it looks like maybe the market is turning around a little bit. Yeah. As of today, maybe. Yeah. That's one thing that's been wild. Past month, Stock market has market. Just gone up amidst everything. I mean, yeah, because, you know, bailouts, man. What do you mean? <clears throat> you know, government just, just pumping money left and right. You know, Boeing yeah. is good, dude. Boeing is always going to be good. That's why you should invest in Boeing, because congressmen love Boeing. I don't... I can get that shit. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine no matter what. Yeah. People could just stop flying. Yeah, it'll and literally be the end well, of the... Well, which, which happened, and yeah, they're fine. Their stock yeah, went up. Yeah. If anything, it's... Uh, oh, wait, let's... Boeing is at, like, almost an all-time high, isn't it? Or am I wrong? <laughs> Probably, dude. <clears throat> Boeing... Not, not all-time high, but in the past, past six months... The motherfucker's got no employees, people quitting because the airline industry is fucked up, but somehow they're still <laughs> profitable as shit. Yeah. Uh, we haven't weird. flown a plane in 60 days, and our revenue is up 21%. It's, uh, it's really been an amazing quarter. Um, it's, it's just, it has to be fake. Everything's just fake. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's all horse. It's all horse it's Horse shit. cabbage. It's complete yeah. horse crud. <laughs> I haven't paid that much attention to the stock market. It kind of pisses me off. It just goes up. It's only, <laughs> it just goes up. It's all it's been, it's all it's done. Did you invest in anything? Maybe I missed the investment no, opportunity no, of I a didn't. lifetime. I, I, no, I, um, no, mm. I, but, you know, bought a couple random stocks just because like Tesla and shit like that, you know, stuff like that yeah. seemed like a safe bet and just like, you should have money in those anyways. Yeah. And then I sold everything. Cause it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, man. It just seems, seems like it's just bizarre. <laughs> it's a uh, thing. <laughs> Tesla's at a thousand dollars a share. What the fuck is this, mm -hmm. dude? Mm -hmm. It went up two hundred dollars since the end of May. What the fuck? I know it's funny. It's like when stocks are that expensive, it's like even buying one stock, even if it goes up twenty percent, it's like uh, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really make that much money. No, you didn't make shit. Because <laughs> I can only buy one. <laughs> Bro, this is fucked up, man. It was $32 back whenever, and I thought when it was 200 bucks that that was insane. Yeah. It's like Bitcoin, man. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at yeah, Bitcoin. We got to just, that's, that's, that's got to be the thing. You know, before we were Bitcoin traders, we got to be, just become day traders. Yeah, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll just give everything up. We'll <clears throat> give up entertainment to become day traders. Yeah. <laughs> In a market that only goes up, so yeah. we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening to the podcast. Uh, we want to announce a pivot today. <laughs> that is, we're going to be talking about futures. Um, 
And Today's picks corn. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, we should have a stock portion, but it's just all weird uh, future shit. Um, we're investing in beans, corn, <laughs> and celery stock. I love, I love how like primitive futures sound. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, gold, beans, corn, <laughs> dirt, hay. It's gonna invest in grass. And today's picks ocean water. <laughs> we think it's on the rise as glaciers melt. <laughs> um, you know, I made a great move last week. I I bought six hundred bushels of um, <laughs> fucking hay, and that shit is up <laughs> crazy, man. <laughs> Dude, I just I want to bushels of hay. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you can buy gold and gold mini. All right, what what yeah, else is there? Mini mini gold. What's mini that? gold. It's What's yeah, mini gold. It's just smaller gold. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking nine years old, man. Here's what I want, bro: soybeans, oats. Dude, vegans should be doing this shit. They're fucking. <laughs> this is all vegan right here. You can invest in rough rice. Okay. Hard red winter wheat. <laughs> that's my favorite type. Dude, that sounds like a... Like hard a, wet winter wheat? Dude, that sounds like a chewing tobacco. Hard red winter... <laughs> hard red winter wheat. You can't even say that three times Yo, fast. Yeah, pack a lip of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I love more than a pack of hard red winter wheat when I'm out there shucking my corn. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's, there's corn mini... <laughs> Sugar, fuck off. You can orange juice? No way. <laughs> Dude, what? You can buy orange juice futures? Bro, you can invest in milk. <laughs> this is wild, bro. I'm um, shorting. I'm shorting milk. I'm shorting milk this year. <laughs> he needs some milk. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Some CNN correspondent. <laughs> Today up next, he needs some milk. Literally, your portfolio needs some milk. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> Yo, wait, just real quick. I just want to give a big shout out to the um, to the Z Bar, to the Cliff Kid Z Bar. This is not an ad. Um, I just want to thank thank you guys for making diarrhea in a bar. Mm. Um, you don't like them? Why well, they're good, them? but the amount of fiber. Um, I'm gonna need my my patented dump hole to fly open. Why am I <laughs> why am I, why am I talking about this anyway? <laughs> oh, it cleans you out. Yeah, <laughs> those bars. Yeah, I mean it's just like a bowl of oatmeal with a you know a vanilla drizzle, uh, ugh. in a bar. You say vanilla ugh, drizzle. Man. What's wrong with the drizzle, man? Fills you up and cleans you out. <laughs> Speaking of getting cleaned out, guys, we have some sad news to report, and that is the drip crib. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start with that actually. <sighs> Damn, dude, it just seem it just it seems like just yesterday that the drip crib, you know, got together and we thought. We'd see, you know, a plethora of great TikToks, great videos. I mean, these guys were, you know, in my eyes, destined to pump out content. Yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, seriously. we're here to report that the Drip Crib has, has broken up. Man, what an unfortunate name, dude. The Drip, the drip crib. crib. Yeah, these, all these motherfuckers got gonorrhea, bro. <laughs> Who, who's in the Drip Crib, man? Let me see this. Are they fucking, uh... <clears throat> the thing is, is that they're not even, like, popular. No. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they're really not. <laughs> like, that's why it was funny when I read that article. Whoever The first time we read that article or whatever about all the TikTok houses, and they listed this one, and I was like, what the fuck is this? I clicked on it, and it had, like, 8,000 followers on TikTok. Like, why are they even in this article? And, and they're living in a mansion, too. It's not some modest house it's like there was a fucking waterfall and shit in their house <laughs> dude and it's like who how can you who's paying for this is some management <laughs> company taking a risk on these guys and investing in them because they're they think they're they're gonna become like the next big tiktok house or whatever yeah it's such a weird concept to just be investing in houses pumping out tiktoks dude <laughs> look yeah. at this one with their fucking obvious manager <laughs> This blockheaded motherfucker. He can't even dance. 
Yeah, this is content, man, right here. This is good, good content. Dude, this looks like a team building exercise. They do not look <laughs> excited about this shit, dude. It's so forced. Yeah. They don't look happy at all. What? Hold up. Such a shame that they, it's honestly a shame they broke up. I would say so. Wait, who, who is? Oh, no, this is Addison Ray's dad. <laughs> oh, so he started that house? Or was that just a little know. collab? I have no idea. I fucking hate this shit. <clears throat> you know, I'd rather a family get on OnlyFans together than a family making TikToks. While we're on the subject of that, uh huh. there was a couple posts on my For You page of girls doing the green screen shit with their OnlyFans earnings behind them. Nice. Wild. Yeah? <laughs> what are we Same talking? thing. These girls have 8,000 followers. They're making 50K a month. <laughs> like, it, it would probably <laughs> blow... Even the most bullish people's minds <laughs> on how much they're making. There's a there is like there are at least nine women right now working as like junior accountants that just heard that shit and they're like, what? "Uh, guys, uh, don't don't hit that dial because this ad will get <laughs> Wait, your <man. laughs> this ad will get your dick hard." That's right. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by blue chew all right let's all talk about something we could use more of right now that's sex great sex guys you can increase you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed listen up bluechew.com that's blue like the color blue blue chew brings you the first chewable with the same fda approved active ingredients as viagra and Cialis. Uh. and it, the name is less like medically you know blue chew yeah. it's more of like a fun listen this is a fun thing. We know you've been smashing a lot during quarantine, fellas. You feel like your performance is down during quarantine? You could spike it right back up with a little bit of blue yeah, chew. Get, get it back, you know? <laughs> get it back. Uh, you can take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. And since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as a pill, so you can be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Because you, you never know, you know, when, <laughs> when something's going to happen. When the, quarantine, sexy, when the quarantine smash is going to strike. You never know, you know? It could be cooking some banana bread <laughs> <laughs> you're mashing the bananas <laughs> that could result in something right uh, blue chew is made in the usa <laughs> it's prescribed online by licensed physicians so you don't have to go to the doctor or wait in line it's even cheaper than a pharmacy and they prepare it and ship it right to you in a discreet package no awkwardness you don't need to leave the house uh, right now <laughs> we've got a special de deal for our listeners visit bluechew.com get your first Shipment free when you use our special promo code TMG. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E, chew.com, promo code TMG. Try it for free. Blue Chew is a better, cheaper, faster choice, and we thank them for sponsoring this podcast. And remember, uh, when you support our sponsors, you help make this podcast possible. Uh, thanks. Uh, why do I crunch these numbers? Why do I sit I'm here in Excel burning my fucking brains out? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, like that's. I feel like that's why it's becoming such a big trend right now. It's because of that. <laughs> so you're telling me that I'm sitting on 50k a month right now. Literally, I'm sitting on it. That's fuck. That's fucked up, man. But okay, what? Do you think that's everyone on OnlyFans? It can't be everyone on OnlyFans, right? I, I mean, I'm, I'm saying like they don't have that big of a following. You can't generate. You can't generate like organic follower base on OnlyFans. It has to come from somewhere else. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um like it's like Patreon. We're not we're not like Yeah. We're not like cool on Patreon or whatever. It's just people come there to support us from other no, they definitely, areas. They definitely come there. I'm stupid. Yeah, no, nice. yes. Yeah. I no, I I feel like you could you could get on OnlyFans and cruise it looking for new content. Yeah, but imagine your feed. You're paying for everyone on your feed. I mean, yeah, but you know, it's an expensive ass feed. <laughs> Did you do this shit? Yeah, flexing, it cost me bro. Thousands of dollars right here. Look at this. These are all private, all locked. All these pictures unlocked for, for me, of course. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, you, you man. I feel like OnlyFans turns you into an absolute sicko. Like He's you, a hound. Yeah, you're a you're a Just horn a dog, dog to a high degree. You know, you yeah. you start like having particular, you know, about certain types of labia, and just I bet it gets extremely <laughs> no, but... <laughs> granular in, as to what you're into. Here's the thing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw out a wild statistic. I have no idea if this is even close to accurate. I bet you like 
fifteen percent of OnlyFans is nudity. Oh, you think? I bet the you the rest is exactly the same as what you get on Instagram. <sighs> okay, all right. Um, would you say that's would you say that's accurate? Again, I have no idea. I'm, but I'm, it sounds like it'd be right. I think it's inverted. I think it's fifteen percent of it is like you know, you know, the uh, soft, soft core. I think okay. the rest of it is just like, damn. <laughs> you think so? Like she sat on that. Damn. <laughs> like I feel like half of it looks like like science experiments, bro. Like it's like, like I didn't know you could do that with a baseball bat. Yeah, it's just, Yo, that lava lamp has settings? What? That is insane. <laughs> that vase? Oh, Lord, she's not putting flowers in that. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel like the top 1% of OnlyFans is either, like, um, <clears throat> extreme attractiveness or, like, shooting eggs out of your, your hoo-ha. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're, like, like... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That was a whole garden hose in there. Holy <laughs> hell. It just keeps going. End to end. <laughs> Some... <laughs> it's, you know, I feel like it's more akin to browsing like e fucked or live leak. Like it's just like, you know, it, it maybe it becomes a thing where it's not even about the porn anymore. You're like, <laughs> I just got to see what she's going to do next because this is, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. So you think it's more of like a depraved. It's a depraved Ripley's, believe it or not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird magic show where they're just <laughs> hiding shit in their body. They're pulling out ri- like the magic trick with yeah, the ribbons. Yeah, yeah, just whoop, 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 whoop. And then eat it and then putting them in their yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah, it's just, just going just a giant circle. <laughs> oh my god. It's just like, dude, there's like uh meter boards. And it's like, you know, how far can she squirt? Today we'll find <laughs> And all these guys tune in to her live. She's gonna hit the hundred today, man. I've I've I have a feeling she's gonna hit the hundred. Oh no, OnlyFans live streams, can you do those? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh my god. <clears throat> I guess like chatterbait has existed forever. That's like that was like the, the start of live streaming with porn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chatterbait was. Did you did you see that clip of that dude who put the fake? Um, I don't know what he used, but he basically is, was on like Omegle or Chatterbait, whatever, with fake rack. It's all these old guys. <laughs> like as soon as he would get on screen, they would say something super foul, like "I want to come all over your big tits." <laughs> and then he'd pan his laptop camera up. He'd be like, "Yeah, do you?" And he's like a dude. Yeah. With a, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I think that was just on Omegle. Was it? I mean, the thing I think that, so. I just wanted to bring up the part where the the guy is still naked looking at him and goes, no. <laughs> like, he, I don't know what witty thing he said to him. And he goes, no. He's like, oh, he was like, do you want to come on my face too or something? He's like, no. He's like, come on. He's like, let me see your dick. He's like, no, it's not hard. And he just starts having like a weird argument with. <laughs> I love how. All the old dudes were pretending like like they were the victims in that situation. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> you sick fuck. It's like, dude, you're the one sitting on Omegle naked and you're 70 years old. <laughs> yeah, jer- waiting jer- for what? Jerking off in your shed while your wife does her <laughs> dialysis treatment and you're like, I'm going to get one in right here. So that's fucking, that's Sorry, dark. It does dark. <laughs> I'm on one today. Forgive me. I'm Coming, honey. <laughs> She's just in the next I'm room. I'm coming. With the in-home nurse just... Uh. That big steam engine pumping the blood through her body, and he's just in the shed like, oh, come on, let me fucking... Come on, just one, just, just one. one. <laughs> just next, 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 next. <laughs> Oh, you sick fuck. Fuck. You know what I'm doing? My wife is on dialysis right now, and you're going to sit here and troll me like this? You're sick. You're sick in the head. Oh, my God, dude. Wow. Um, I feel bad for anyone who has to go back to work on this episode. This is a brutal one to, to start with. 
I give anyone props who starts our podcast at nine in the morning. That shit is impressive to me. That's true. <clears throat> That's true. You know, All the know. people commuting with their giant football headphones. <laughs> you know, the John Madden headphones on the subway. <laughs> Communicating into their broadcast microphones. Ah ha 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 ha. Yep. No. Seems like people are going going back to work. Everything. <sighs> All the restaurants near me are open fully, 100%. That's wild, dude. And and also, uh, like, uh, I was on the beach yesterday, and it is it was packed. Nice. Packed. Like, a, a weekend yeah. in mid-August. Packed. Yeah. And it was a Tuesday. <laughs> oh. It was officially summer, and I feel like it's just summer. Yeah, uh, we always, we always. I feel like we all thought that this. I don't know. It's just weird to think that this might just be a totally normal summer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because everyone was like, "Oh, we're gonna have to stay inside for however long." And yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I went. We, we, I forget where the fuck we went on Memorial Day. I don't know <clears> why <throat> I thought. You know, well, let's take Ollie to the beach on Memorial Day. For some reason in my brain, I thought there's gonna be some weird inverted thing where. Because it's quarantine, no one real, will really be at the beach. It'll be like some rare thing. And no. And <laughs> it was the same shit. I remember just stepping out Where'd there. Where'd you go? What beach? I, I went to Dockweiler for maybe 15 oh, okay. minutes. Okay, it was okay, like yeah, yeah. It was too crazy. I think of those 15 minutes, I spent most of it walking to the beach. And we got there and I saw the amount of people and I was like, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm good. Packed. <clears throat> yeah. Packed. That's and crazy. Then, yeah. And then the WHO came out with that article saying asymptomatic cases don't uh, aren't spreading the virus easily. And then the next day they were like, "Psych, yeah, yeah, that's fake." And now yeah. Fauci is like, "Yeah, that was grossly inaccurate." <clears throat> but Joe Rogan had already posted it on his Instagram, and it was like, "Oh, then it's too late." It, Once but it, like, who do we fucking trust? Yeah, yeah, serious. Who can we? I, I don't believe a single thing I read about it anymore. Same. It, it all just feels... And then I saw some thing in Forbes about some Norwegian scientist claiming that it, it, he can prove that it was created in a lab. And it was just... Everyone. And then there's an article about how researchers <clears throat> uh, uh, have evidence to show that... Or they were looking at satellite cameras from Wuhan. And uh -huh. the parking lots and hospitals were way more full in October than they normally were. Like, you know, in previous Octobers of previous years. Yeah. So they, and, and based on something else, they're assuming that the virus started way earlier <clears throat> than December yeah. 31st, which is when I think they first reported it. Yeah. And it's like, I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah. It sucks we're all sitting around waiting to see what happened mm -hmm. or what's going to happen. Yep. <clears throat> well, you know, man, when the chip happens, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then we'll know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's why everyone needs to get it so that we know for sure who has it, who doesn't, and <clears throat> so the government knows when you're out for a bike ride. Yeah. For example, to keep you safe. I almost, um, I mean, I don't want the chip to be real, but some part of me, like, I don't know. I was, I was thinking about major events that would shatter everyone's political spectrum you know what i mean I, I like i thought what if a picture leaked of donald trump and hillary clinton and she was just like in her bra and they're just sitting on a couch and it's just like unexplained and that just gets leaked and it's just everyone Dude, goes, that wouldn't it wouldn't do anything you don't think it'd do anything you don't think people no. will go what mm. how, like there's pictures of of trump with fucking epstein how could it get any worse than that <clears throat> Yeah, no, but I mean that 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 what I'm saying is so in 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 my fantasy Hillary Trump picture it's like it's like technically from both sides is what I'm getting at. Like something to just or it's just like him and Obama shirtless in a fucking in a jacuzzi and everyone goes, "What the fuck is this?" And they're both like, "Um boy, uh yeah. Uh, and it just everyone is just where has, was this? When did this happen? Yeah, everyone has no clue what to feel anymore. Kind of like yeah. what's happening with the coronavirus. Like they go, wait. I thought, oh, you know what I mean? Like just yeah. something to that degree that just makes yeah. everyone go, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. 
<laughs> like, I feel like a chip would do that. Like, if the chip actually came out, like, I feel like conspiracy theorists would go, like, they'd go, yeah, I told you so. But then that moment where you have to put it on, where they go, this is fucked up. I don't like that I ever <laughs> predicted this. And then everyone goes, I don't like that this actually came true. And then it, we're all just sitting there like, wait, this is fucked up. Why, <laughs> why do we have to do this? It was supposed well, once to be- it's in, it starts to program you to like it. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you and get- you put it in and you say, I don't know why, I just, but I kinda- it is. I kind of <laughs> yeah. like it. It's like a Fitbit. It's very nice. That I don't have to take off <laughs> when I shower. It's like instant. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> oh my. You know, I think Trump's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, God, someone's going to take that out of context. <laughs> oh, God, just fucking... The president isn't such a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dude, the president. So uh, then they give you a boot-flavored lollipop, and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> literally a boot liquor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally a boot liquor. <laughs> That's good. They change soda, and they make it boot-flavored. It's like... <laughs> Did you hear the government's coming out with new buses for us to ride? Just I can't wait. Boot flavored pacifiers. Was- <laughs> <laughs> I love my big government. <laughs> <laughs> I love when the big uh, government comes and coddles me and puts me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know about a thing called June gloom? Uh, is this said simply because it rhymes? That's ridiculous. What could possibly be gloomy about? Junie. The sun is out. Birds are chirping. You'll probably get a tan walking to your mailbox where if you're lucky, you'll find incredibly soft undies from me undies. How did we get there? Well, you just wait. What What an intro. What a fucking intro. What the fuck was that? That was like a short story. What was your reaction to getting your first pair of me undies, bro? Dude, I love them. I wear them. I wear them. Every day. I really do. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, they send us a bunch and, and I fucking love them. Yeah. I, I like all the patterns. They're fun patterns. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think I'm, which ones were rocking? You feel right like, now, a, like a cactus on them or you, something like you that? You feel like a literal sexy wallpaper? That's what I feel like. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I feel like wallpaper with a huge dick. <laughs> if your wallpaper could have a, have, have a dick print, that's what it feels like to wear me on these. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, back to discovering those undies in your mailbox while June's non-gloom sunshine is bronzing your shoulders. At this point, the situation is hypothetical, but we're going to tell you how to make it real. Okay, Me Undies has this brilliant thing called an undies membership where every month you get the softest undies ever appear at your door. The convenience factor is clutch. You never have to leave the house. Oh, and you also get site-wide savings, early access, and free shipping. It's pure joy. Because when undies greet you in your mailbox, June gloom is doomed. Um... MeUndies are made from micromodal fabric, irresistibly soft and sustainable, um, and encases your nether regions in a cloud-like comfort. <laughs> um, why don't you tell them about this great offer we have? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. You got to give this super softness a try, especially because they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. That's right, folks. A 100%. <clears throat> To get your 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash TMG. That's MeUndies.com slash TMG. <sighs> what are you about to say? <laughs> I was going to say, um, <coughs> oh, so right before we started recording this, mm-hmm. I sent that CNN tweet. Yeah. CNN tweeted, um, Oh, about the White, the, House is, the White House is working on an executive order on police reform but it's not clear which provision, provisions it may include as Trump has not yet signaled what he's willing to support. Yeah. Which is the biggest... I n- feel like it's like a veiled good news. It's like, oh, police reform, that's fantastic. No, that's the biggest non... Um, it's going to be nothing. No, it'll be nothing. It'll be nothing. I mean, bro, <clears throat> the whole this whole concept of, you know, that phrase, defund the police, is so controversial. Um, and... I don't, I, I don't know why. I just, I don't feel that it's that crazy to try something new. It's sure it's risky, but I don't, I don't understand why anyone is so put off by the idea that one city out of everything in America is going to try it. What's the, it, I see people arguing about this shit. It's like, you don't even live there. Why do you give yeah. a fuck? 
If it ends yeah. up being bad, just let it be bad. But you don't. Well, and it's like it's those people don't. <clears throat> I I mean, even just watching Thirteenth, it oh, yeah. just becomes so clear how fucked up the system was from the beginning. Yeah, I don't. How I don't corrupt yeah, right. the intentions were. Yeah, from the start, and yeah. it, that's all it's been. Yeah, over and over and over again, it's been, it's been just re the, like you know rebranded racism. Yeah. And, and a way yeah. for, for big corporations <clears throat> to just profit <clears throat> off of people yeah. being incarcerated, right? That's all it's ever been. That's like when <clears throat> Bill Clinton gave a fuck ton of money to the cops yep. and they all started carrying riot gear and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All because of this, like, it was all just like uber, uh, like over politicized. They had yeah. this war on crime or whatever. There's yeah. just no real reason why more, more and more people needed to be in jail. I mean, it's just the prison industry. Yeah, and, and I couldn't believe how many... I had no idea about Alec and all that stuff. Yeah. Did, did, about how many, the, how bro, many that, giant that, corporations just rely on the millions of dollars and contracts they're getting from building prisons and yeah. making them shitty and making the food <laughs> shitty. and You know what's fucking... You know what's crazy? You know who fucking leans into prison labor is fucking Intel. You get your fucking your your yeah yeah your fucking computers are made with prison labor. <laughs> the fuck? How's, like how's that feel? Victoria's Secret yeah. and stuff that you yeah. use every day. <clears throat> yeah, fucking. <laughs> you got, holy shit, man! You got guys fucking doing eight years for a gram of fucking weed in you know fucking Tuscaloosa. Yeah, and just so you can fucking get cheaper, uh, you know. Or they they can get you know cheaper margin or bigger margins on on shit that we use in our everyday. It's, it's crazy, dude. The, the, so it's, it's like once you realized how <clears throat> corrupt it's been from from the beginning, why not fucking try yeah, something new, dude? Why not? Yeah, yeah. It's it's man. I think I think the thing you have. I mean, uh, I feel like what we're looking at is years and years of complexity in terms of like like politics like just being unpacked in one go and that's why you're hearing all these different fucking takes on what should be done and what shouldn't be done but i think at the center of it you got to remember that <clears throat> you know the black voices in the center of it they're you know they're the youth of people who are only so many generations f from jim crow and like you know literal slavery like mm -hmm. i I, th I think people forget that and, and whenever i see fucking young people arguing on twitter like with stats and blah 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 it's like dude you actually don't fundamentally understand where the frustration comes from like yeah. like you're just like a sperm in this nation and you don't <laughs> get like that this is something that has been uh passed on in terms of like the pain it's passed on for many generations and and yeah. but it's not that far removed from you so it's yeah. like, I get, <clears throat> it just annoys me when I see people chiming in. It's like, you don't even get it, man. You don't even have a place to speak on it. Just like, shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think, you know, I, I I don't know where people get this idea that the police just fucking evaporate. Like, the as far as I understand it, the idea is to take the money and you develop, you know, uh, more community-based programs that are like actually in the community. There might be something to the effect of a police officer, but it's not just a rando dude who just came out of high school, who transferred yeah, from another area because the pay is better, and now he gets a gun and a badge, and he's like, oh, yeah. fuck everybody here. It's like, no, dude. But because it's, 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 it's these people that see, you know, <clears throat> I, I clicked on the tweet talking about the autonomous zone in Capitol Hill in Seattle yeah. right now, and all the replies were fucking, get a job, you fucking yeah. hippies, and, yeah, and yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. losers. Well, uh, can't wait to say this, see this place when everything goes to shit. And the and the military, blah blah blah, and it's like, dude, it's yeah, like what you not everything. You think that our communities are just gonna be autonomous zones? Yeah, like you, no. it's so it, that the that's the part that's like or like that fucking clip of that redneck man, like y'all want to defund the police? Well, I'm I'm rooting to now. We don't use no little tasers. We got guns and bad. it's like it's not gonna be like that, you dummy. Yeah, <laughs> what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, <clears throat> just because there's a voice at the center of it that is so frustrated that they want something extreme, it doesn't mean that's how it happens overnight. Stupid, you know. It's like, like even even now, it's like I see these crazy conservative dudes on Twitter. You see that clip of the dude with the chainsaw? Oh no! <laughs> like running after protesters outside of his store. 
Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Yeah. With the yeah. with the chainsaw. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're the ones now there's chaos. <laughs> Chain dude, you're literally running down the street with a chainsaw. How more chaotic could it get than that? Oh my god, dude. The whole shit is just, you know, this is this is fucking clown shit. We'll see how the how the whole thing shapes up. Yo, that fucking that clip of the mayor in Minneapolis walking through that crowd and everyone screaming shame. That that was some, I didn't see it. Dude, that was some that. dystopian future shit right there. Like the the whole crowd is going, "Go home, Josh. Go home, wow. Josh." Shame, shame, shame. And he's just walking alone through this fucking massive crowd. And it's, I don't know. Jesus. It's, it felt crazy. I was like, some, wow. If there was a time to hit an, an official with a bean, it was right there. <laughs> <laughs> just a joke. It's a single garbanzo bean. That's from my, that's from my futures investment. <laughs> garbanzo beans. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm not gonna invest in bean futures. I'm just gonna buy a fuck ton of garbanzo beans, <laughs> hoping that I can sell them in the future. Don't worry. When man. everything when everything goes to shit because there's no cops anywhere, dude. Someone someone did that at the start of the quarantine. You know, someone's sitting on a fucking pallet of garbanzo beans right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, the same guy that bought all the hand sanitizer. <laughs> cleaned walmart out of uh, fucking sweet corn uh, garbanzo beans he's been talking to his family for the past two months about how the futures market is going to come down to physical <laughs> quantities and it's going to be about how much you own yeah and i bought some little gold too yeah. <laughs> i got some teeny tiny gold right here check this tiny out little gold coins <laughs> <clears throat> grandpa, went, grandpa did you get that from the gold rush museum hey hey hey, hey. <laughs> anyway you went where i went to I went to a real autonomous zone in in Slovenia. Oh, nice! There, there, there's these like government buildings that were basically used to house the Yugoslavian army. Yeah, when Slovenia was like part of Yugoslavia, and then and, when it and, broke up, all these people squatted the buildings, uh, and it became this autonomous zone. So it's like a GTA server for sure. Like people are dressed up like Sonic the Hedgehog, and everyone has yeah, guns exactly. And, people, yeah, everyone's killing each other. Yeah, yeah. there's just group sex everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> just giant we walk in there just orgies everywhere <laughs> just out on the fucking sidewalk it's just a giant ball of people fucking each other like bees and it's just rolling around <laughs> <laughs> this fucking dirt field just stinks like fucking paint hair <laughs> yeah quick get out it's the autonomous zone <laughs> that's what i was scared you know i was like a 22 year old i'm like nope no police like no government that's What's crazy. it gonna be like? He walked in. We went to a reggae show there. And it was just normal. <laughs> <laughs> People with dreads, partying. Yeah, just everyone was super nice. It was great. I mean, there there are niche examples of like weird, like unique economies, like this place Rojava. I've not, I don't know if you've heard of this, but they're like a completely self sufficient, um, small, uh, like country, or like it's like their banking <laughs> system is shared and. I don't know. There's there's more to it that I I don't fully know about, but I don't know. I just I I, I don't know why people get so bent out of shape on shit being different. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. just I know that's a very weak take, but I'm I'm just at the core of it all. I just don't get why people are so upset with this idea that one major city wants to try something different. It's not that fucking wild. Anyway. Yeah, and it's not like it's it's not like it's just gonna be anarchy. It's not like anarchy or it's like either anarchy or like fascism. Yeah. It's no, there's like, you know. Yeah. It's not going to be that. There <clears throat> there there's room for other shit to take place that's not taking place <clears throat> now that doesn't make it, you know, it's not going to be complete <clears throat> chaos and Yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe that has too much faith in the government, you know, I don't have a ton of faith in the system, but if it seems like there is some yeah, true. degree of change, fucking I I'd like to see it. I mean, yeah. Like, God I mean, damn there's it, dude. been a lot of progress made in the past week, right? I mean, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm holding out, you know, until something's like mm -hmm. put in law or something's like actually different. I, mm -hmm. I, I hold out. I think, I think that's the one thing that's a bit, uh, I don't know. You kind of got to remember that this is a long fucking road. You know, when you look at major activist moments, like they don't, they don't just happen in two weeks, a month. Like some of them take, you know, it's like, you know, six months, a year. Of straight demonstrating mm -hmm. and then something actually like gets put down you know like the white house saying this shit to me is just like okay 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 we'll talk about it everyone shut the fuck up yeah yeah, yeah that's true 
Honey, baby! You probably know Honey is PayPal's new money-saving shopping tool, and you probably know it automatically applies coupon codes to your cart whenever you're shopping online. online. But you may never have added the browser extension to your computer because you're busy listening to a podcast, podcast. and you're a loser. <laughs> okay? Jesus. <laughs> Look, we get it, all right? You're oh also driving God. or cooking, and now is not a convenient time to rip out the old laptop and download Honey. But do yourself a favor. Make a note so you don't forget to do it later, okay? Grab some old-fashioned pen and paper. Here's what it should say. Don't forget to add Honey to your browser at joinhoney.com slash TMG. Seriously, do it. It's worth it. It's like free money. Go ahead. Write that note. You're not going to miss anything. We're just going to sit here for 20 seconds and be quiet so we don't disturb your note writing. Oh, no. We're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait no, hey, wait, no let's let's flip this let's flip. write that note but we're not staying silent. no 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 flip. fuck it damn it i had an idea um re- reread that line and be like uh um you're not gonna miss anything we're just gonna sit here and sing you a little tune and i'll just like sing <laughs> okay. a little song for like 10 seconds okay All okay right. go ahead write the note you're not gonna miss anything we're just gonna sit here for 20 seconds and sing you a little tune Write that note, hey. Write that note, hey. You want to join honey.com slash TMG. Yeah. Write that note, hey. <laughs> Write that note, baby. Was that good? All right. <laughs> Don't forget to add honey to your browser at joinhoney.com slash TMG. Seriously, do it. It's worth it. It's free money. All right. Now you'll remember. What was say, that URL again? Uh, joinhoney.com slash TMG. That is joinhoney.com slash TMG. And now you'll remember to save money online. Thanks, honey. <laughs> and then, Good point. then the then the average person who has to go back to work, they go, oh, okay, thank God. The police are going to be better. The mm-hmm. White House said so. And then, mm-hmm. you know, then they go right back to work and it's, um, you know. Would you like fucking catch up with, I don't know. <laughs> couldn't think of a job. but <laughs> You couldn't think of one job? I couldn't think of one job. That's how <laughs> empty, my smooth my brain is. <laughs> Would you like catch up with your Victoria's Secret uh, Xbox? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's an American job, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. Everyone just goes back to work as a podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> Any who's it's Dude, when are we going to get back in the studio? That's what I've been wondering. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, it's... I'm I, down. I feel like enough time has passed. I feel like it's okay. I, yeah. I'm I'm cool with it now. Would you um? What'd you do this weekend? I just surfed, honestly. Nice. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna, I was gonna bring up my, uh, and it's not that big of a deal, but uh, I fucking, dude, I practiced all last week for this fucking virtual race. Oh yeah, and, and I, how'd it go? Oh, bro, talk about maximum frustration. I got like the smallest taste of what it's like to be a real race car driver. So I practiced <laughs> like all week, like you know, like a good six hours on this track. Um, Baku. It's super hard. You know, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a real life tough track. It's a street track. It's a, um, it's, it's narrow. It's whatever. So, you know, I practice and, and, um, I get my time to like a, like a solid time, but it's not perfect, right? Like mm-hmm. it, it, the, my pace could be a little bit better. And so, um, I'm a bit nervous like going into it because this lobby was fucking loaded. It was the most pro lobby I think I've ever been. It was pretty much like half F1, F2 drivers and then, um, maybe like four or five like content creators or whatever. So it just it skewed more race car drivers. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna get fucking washed. Um, what made it funny was in the mix of it, and I you know I don't want to get uh, too much on the racing tee, but there was a uh, <laughs> there's a dude, there's a driver named Mahavir. He's a like former F2 driver, and um, he's a uh, how can I put this? He's a little, he's a bit notorious. That's the most I could say. <laughs> Okay. So the dude who's been uh, sort of coaching me, he was like, "Hey man, if you can, if you can outpace Mahavir, that'd be like, that'd be like one for the boys. Like everyone to go, ooh, like you got him." So uh, I go into the race and I fucking I outpace his time by eight hundredths of a second. Okay. And I'm like twelfth on the grid. I'm you know I'm like towards the front. It's I'm feeling good. I get a great fucking start and I fucking bin it on this. First lap on this corner that I have practiced like so much. I'm like, I'm not gonna fuck this up. I like made is it a it, hard corner. 
Yeah, it's super tough. It's like goes into this okay. little section called Castle. And I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna fuck it. And I I missed the break point by like no. the small and I just fucking I bin it and I trashed the front wing. So I <clears throat> I pit, I get it replaced, and now I'm trying to undercut. So I'm trying to say, okay, I pit ahead of everyone, I'll make these tires last for the remainder of the laps and maybe I'll get back up in the fucking grid. I go back out, I choke it again, and I and I and I just like so whatever. So it's back to back races. So I'm like, I'm really mad because I did so good. I had a great launch, whatever. I'm like, it's cool. I'll make it up in the second race. <laughs> and then the F1 servers crashed. Oh no. And so was, that was it. I just had to take the fucking L and and my I have not recouped. <laughs> that man. was on Saturday. <laughs> that was on Saturday. And so then you just <laughs> oh. you just your weekend is tainted with this awful. Oh. That's that's what I feel like sometimes like when you know you just don't have a good Call of Duty session. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and you <laughs> sign off, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Am I doing yeah, in my life, yeah. <laughs> bro. You don't have a fucking, a fucking gifted three thousand dollar fucking racing setup. <laughs> you know these people give to you in good faith. Like you're gonna practice, you're gonna get better. I felt like such a failure. I'm like, I let these people down, dude. <laughs> so what are they? Are they like investing in you? No, I mean, you know, they give you the thing. I thought it was like a gift, like you shout them out, and then you get to use it. Thank you. No, I mean, whatever. Shout out to the Veloce guys. They uh no, they just like recognize that I got like this keen interest in motorsports. So they like sent me this stuff and they're like, yeah, man, like we we love to see you do more of it. So you know, I feel a bit of like uh, you know, I gotta show out. I can't I can't go up there and be a fucking bum, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh so like whatever, I've been in, I'm so pissed and I like played COD with fucking Lando Norris from McLaren for a bit afterward and and he was like, that's racing, man. And then I like, I, I shut the fuck up mentally. I was like, yeah, dude, I need to shut up. Because I'm imagining the actual yeah. fucking pain. Lando had yeah. a race where like he was doing really well. And then the motor just fucking died on him. <laughs> he's like, really? He's like moving up the grid. And then he's, it's a famous, it's like a very well-known clip where he's like screaming. He's like, something's wrong, something's wrong. And then he's just screaming, it's broken. It's broken. And then no. he just has to pull off to the side. And then he's just watching everyone just go, pew, 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 pew. He's just sitting on the side of the road. (laughs) He just goes, fuck! (laughs) Heartbreaking. Oh, yeah, dude. That's just sports, though. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, completely sports. Sports in general. So, you know, I uh, I was, like, laughing at myself a bit. I'm like, here I am crying about a fucking video game. But it was, uh, oh, man, it it fucking, it stung my ego real bad. That's how you know, but that's how you know you're playing something actually fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. When it makes you feel... When you're that emotionally invested in something, yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> Is that how you get about COD when you get the win? Yeah, you, dude. I mean, I still vividly remember that win that I had with Marcus and Sam. <laughs> One of the best be- best moments of my life. <laughs> One of the best moments of my entire life. <clears throat> you called your mom. <laughs> we yeah, did crying. it. We, we did, did it. We fucking did it, mom. <laughs> you would have been so proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember my my very first my very first nationals. Yeah, I think my very first nationals when I was a diver. Yeah. I was like thirteen or something. Mm-hmm. My very first qualified for nationals. Yeah. Finally made it. We flew to London, Ontario. Nice the nationals. And I was you know competing in what C C group at that time. It's the age group. Yeah. Whatever. And I was ready. I thought I was ready. Trained all year for this, you know? All year you train for nationals. All year. Oh, and no. I, there was about 30 kids in my event. No. Prelims, right? Yeah. And I flopped on my back, and I got dead last. <laughs> oh. Dead last. Oh. Dead fucking last. DFL, we used to call that. Oh. My very first nationals in front of national judges and oh. all my friends that I had met from Quebec and everything, <laughs> dead fucking last in front of everyone. And I went to the hot tub and I cried. And my mom had to, <laughs> my mom had to come down and console me. Oh my I god, dude, <laughs> that's the yeah. fucking funniest thing to go in a hot tub and cry <laughs> as a thirteen year old in a speedo. That's such like an adult way to fucking like, like uh, uh, I don't know, experience disappointment. <laughs> it's like. So just wasn't doing your divorce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fucking 13 years old. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor glass of Long Branch. Yeah. <laughs> and like, life's not fucking fair, man. <laughs> anyway, so you lose them. Bro. That's all, that's all diving was, was just you either 
clutch it or you crack under the pressure. Every single time you complete, you compete, it's either of those two things. Yeah. Dude, you I don't ever just do okay. Yeah, I felt like such a fucking lame ass. I like my heart was like racing in the qualifying session. I was like so tense. I'm like, it's a fucking game. Why why is this even getting in my head like that? Is yeah, it, but that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, no, it was it was dope. But was was <laughs> So funny was I got the I hyped it up because they put me in the Ferrari. So I'm like, oh yeah, like I'll be driving with Charles Leclerc. It's gonna be sick. And we end up fucking taking each other out. <laughs> and it's like a meme that Ferrari like has done that in the last season. I'm, I don't want to speak on that too much, but like <laughs> after I fucking I, I I end up totaling the car. Like I fucking hit okay. a corner and I completely bend the car. Okay. Just after fucking <laughs> nailing Charles. Someone in my chat goes, Ferrari strategy complete. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <clears throat> fucking. Yeah. So that's what you did this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been nursing this super embarrassing moment in my fucking head, dude. It's well, we should, speaking, just while we were speaking of the uh, the mayor in Minneapolis, right? Was that the mayor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should watch that. We should watch Connor, o, Connor O'Malley's oh my God, to Bill dude. de Blasio. <laughs> Can we even watch that real quick? Yeah, oh yeah. The fucking, yo, guys, look. If you want some insane high-level meta <laughs> political humor, it's not even meta. It's just, it's fucking funny. It's just, dude, beep Connor O'Malley, man. Did you, before I played this, did you watch the one where he, like, made his life into a, a PS1 game? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is automatically right off right off the jump. <laughs> He's got the best voice, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a direct message to Mayor Bill de Blasio. <laughs> Bill, you're crushing it. I'm trying to collect money so that I can get a congratulations hat for Bill because I feel like Bill has been crushing it and everybody's treating him like bullshit. You know what I mean? Bill, thank you for giving us the <laughs> I've been treating him like bullshit. I've been him way too late playing. Like, what the fuck? Is it a selfie stick that he's yeah. using? <laughs> With a GoPro on it? <coughs> Thank you for the 8 o'clock bedtime, dude. <laughs> this I've been staying up way too late playing Twisted, twisted metal. metal. I've been staying up way too late playing Twisted <laughs> the Metal. The perfect game. And, uh, my grades have honestly been fucking slipping. Bill! Bill the Blasio, the mayor guy. Bill, 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 Bill. We need more smart cards for the NYPD. We need more jets for the NYPD. We need an NYPD pontoon boat for all the cops to get onto and fucking party when they're done with their fucking shift. <coughs> I want to thank you, Bill, for Operation Midtown Bull Rescue, where you sent in the National Guard to protect Midtown's uh, bull restaurants from looters who are trying to break in there and steal edamame and carrot shavings. Thank you so much, Bill. And I want to tell you this right now. The NASDAQ is my favorite video game, and I am winning it. <laughs> I'm using that. I'm using that. That's so good. The Nasdaq is my favorite video game, and I am winning it. I'm winning it. Uh, I feel like you guys just have to go watch this shit. And it's in, it, yeah. It's in entirety, bro. God damn it, dude. <clears throat> so funny. He kills it every time, man. Yeah, he's so good. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Um, dude. So I, I feel like. I, you know, I'm not going to talk about it too long, but I've kind of brought this up in the past, right? Like how MMA fighters make dog shit. Oh, my God. I watched, by the way, I watched the two knockouts from oh last weekend. My. Oh, my God. Those were so Cody Garbrandt good. is back, brother. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that power up that he did? Oh, how he like ducked down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you I read a comment being like, that's how people punch in video games. Like yeah. they power it up. Like you're yeah. holding B and then Bro. just letting it go. Bro. Daniel Cormier was like pointing out in the most hilarious way possible. Dude, it, it, during the broadcast, he's trying to, they gave him like the telecaster so he could like put like, you know, you know, in sports, like they draw circles, like the defense is going to come through mm. here. So they gave him that shit for the fight. He was going ham, dude. Just, <laughs> just someone like took a screenshot. They're like, who gave DC the telecaster? And it's just like a dude and there's like numbered buttons. There's like 14 <laughs> of them. It's like, there's nothing you, what do you even look at? <laughs> he looked like a fucking like connect the dot shit. So he's like he's like trying to set up this explanation. 
And like he's trying to highlight a certain part of the screen and he just mistimes it. And this is after like legitimately two to three minutes on the broadcast being like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look right here, look right here. Hold on, hold on. Look right here, look right here. And then whoever's in the booth just hits play before he triggers the thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So the thing he was pointing out was uh, when he like ducked down like that, like what's crazy is he's looking at the dude's chin the whole time. Like he's like gets down and he's like looking at it out of the corner of his eye. So like he knew that punch was coming. So he like ducks down and he throws it and he comes back up and just boom, lasers his shit. Buzzer beater. Man. What was the point of that? Was it <clears throat> bravado or was it was there like technique to it? No, so that round was was so you gotta understand the thing with Cody Garbrandt, the whole thing. Great name, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic first name. Yeah. Very powerful. <laughs> His his story is is pretty unfortunate, you know. In in that he was doing really well in his division. He, he's insanely fucking fast, like one of the fastest dudes in MMA ever. Um, he's on this amazing run, and then he gets into it with this dude TJ Dillashaw, and they fight three times, and he gets he gets dropped right every single time. So this is a big comeback fight. And he's got a new coach, and you 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 know just you know he's. His whole training has just completely uh, been changed. So everyone's there's a lot of fucking focus on him, and he's fighting really con- like really controlled, really good. So the dude he's fighting is super defensive. So it it kind of looks like the whole time it looks like sparring. Like Cody like gets a shot in, and they're staring at each other, and then the dude throws. So that round, Cody is um, he's he's getting he's getting hits in, like he's getting some on him. And he cracks him a few times, and then uh, the dude gets back up, and Cody's corner goes, he's hurt. And the uh, the guy's fighting goes, he's like, the fuck are you talking about? I'm fine. And in my head, I'm like, mm, <laughs> I don't think so, brother. <laughs> okay. So this dude, um, he doesn't bite. Like, on feints, like, Cody would faint, and the dude just, he just postures. He's just staring at him. He doesn't bite. So. What's faint? What does that mean? Faint means, like, um. So like the other knockout with uh with uh um Sean o- Sean O'Malley is that fucking yeah. I'm getting yeah. him and that was Connor name. O'Malley fucking confused. <laughs> so with Sean O'Malley, he kind of sets the dude up. He like throws an uppercut. So the dude drops his hand down to cover the uppercut. So he faints him. So he, he hits him with that and he comes oh, over I see. the top. I so see. Cody's fainting and and uh the other dude just not isn't biting. So now after getting a few hits on him, he's talking talking some shit to him. Now the dude is starting to stalk him, and he and he's taking it to him to the end of the round to be like, I'm not afraid of you. But Cody's like, all right, I got you now. So he backs up against the fence. The dude throws his little bullshit, and then he comes back up, lasers him, and then, you know, boom, buzzer Lights beater. Lights out. Nighty Insane, night. Insane, Oh, dude. yeah, and it was the end of the fight. Dude. It, no, it was, this, it was this end of the second round. Second, second round, was like sorry. Yeah, yeah. a fraction of a second before the fucking... Uh, for the bell. It makes the clip so much better. The fact that the horn rings at, right as he's going down. Yeah, just... I feel like someone edited that in. Oh, yeah. The first time I watched it, I was like... The, everyone was like... Is- dude, everyone was like, yo, was that legal? Like, people <laughs> thought the horn went off first. Like, it was it was so close. Wow. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, that was insane, bro. Yeah. I mean, if you keep... I love, I love the Sean O'Malley one. Oh, that shit was wild. What a great clip. The walk-off? You could, just the the sound of that. Oh, what is a walk off? That's when he punches him and then just like walks yep, away. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mark Mark so Hunt fucking... Mark Hunt is the is the king of the of the no look walk off. But he... Mark Hunt? No, <laughs> Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt. <laughs> yeah, Mike Bro, Hunt. He's the one who came up with that phrase I was telling you about, juicy slut. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he calls uh, dudes on roids, juicy slut. <laughs> <laughs> you rat fuck, <laughs> dude. He's a uh, he's <clears throat> he's like starting. Oh, I bring all this up because um, he, so a while back he started this big class action lawsuit about the UFC like paying him, and now what's crazy is like John Jones and Jorge Masvidal and some other fighters are really trying to stick it to Dana. And John Jones is like, take my belt. I want out of my contract. I don't even want to fight in the fucking UFC anymore uh, hmm. because you guys like don't pay me appropriately. And Dana, Dana basically is like, oh, go ahead. Like, he's, he's, he's being such a fucking cock about it. Like, just pay them. Like, I don't even think they're asking for that crazy of money. Just fucking mm-hmm. give them a fucking inch. Like, um, it's like, why not? 
Yeah, I I, I think like, I put a screenshot in the chat, but there was this insane fight, really good fucking fight, and uh, here here here, where where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Did I not send it? I thought I sent it. Damn, some guys, dude, that night they made seventeen thousand dollars. Ah, uh. N- like uh, Nate Diaz, someone posted this article basically telling him like bro like because he was talking shit to some other fighters and they were like bro shut the fuck up man like specifically he was dogging out connor someone was like bro you better shut up and thank connor for your biggest payday ever and they link up an article of him getting paid 16k for like a really big fight at the time so Jesus. yeah so That's sean scary. o'malley knocks that dude out and the first thing he says in the interview or his post-fight interview is yeah i think that was worth 100 instead of 50 but whatever <laughs> Wait, you got paid 50K for that? 50K, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, but it's like, That's you know. That's funny. He, like, posted a YouTube video afterwards, like, describing the fight and everything, and it's just like, yeah, I'd probably make more from his YouTube channel than yeah. <laughs> from yeah, these because big, big ticket fights. That 50K gets taxed, and then he's got to pay his, uh, got to pay for his yeah. camp, and then once yeah. you, there's nothing left. Nothing fucking left. Wild. Yeah, I mean, how is it any different from NFL? Like, yeah, there's a million guys that are waiting to take these dudes' places if they drop out of the league or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's like that's the same with NHL, you know? <clears throat> I don't, I, man. And it's I like they still get paid what they're worth. Yeah, but I don't even buy that argument really because when you look at fighters who come in from other leagues and they go to fight in the UFC, there is a stark contrast in in the type of talent that the UFC mm-hmm. attracts. Okay, and and uh yeah so then pay them what they're worth they 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 are dude and to fight at that level and some of the some divisions right now are fucking insanely stacked like the division that cody garbrandt's fighting in oh my god dude it is murderer's row anyone who's Hmm. trying to come up from the bottom 20 good fucking luck dude Hmm. if you if you make it through those guys like you have to be a champion like there's no way Hmm. um so yeah i I gotta piss real quick oh you do and then yeah. Oh, sorry. shit. I'm, it's oh. like I'm bursting my bladder. Sorry to interrupt you. But <laughs> I've like, literally been sitting here for the last 10 minutes just like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just pee your pants like a NASCAR driver. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, this weekend we're driving back from Malibu, and I don't think I've ever had to piss that bad in my entire life. Yeah. And I had to hop out randomly because we were stuck in traffic. By the way, traffic now is back. Yeah, cool. I love that. Just jump out and just pee on a house <laughs> you peed on a house just in an alleyway i had to alleyway. i would have pissed my pants wow wow it's bad all right i'm gonna pee right now so i don't pee during the bones on this house yeah. i'll uh yeah i'll i'll bid the people farewell um well guys that's the buzzer beater on the uh uh mma fight hour uh thanks for tuning in we'll if you're patreon i'll see you in the bone zone and um yeah <laughs> Thanks for listening. Be safe out there. Uh, Peace.